Do you ever watch the local news? I do. I can't believe all the events that happen every day that I didn't even know. And I live in a small town. A lot of things can happen behind the scenes of a network too. But how can you get the scoop on what's going on there? With a syslog server. You can think of a syslog server as the small town reporter for your network, gathering and reporting events from across network devices in real time, laying them all out for you to view and analyze. It can be an invaluable troubleshooting, monitoring, and maintenance tool. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to use the free utility TFTPD to act as a syslog server. Next. To get started, you will need to install TFTPD32 or TFTPD64 on your system. In most cases, when this utility is running, syslog traffic travels over the UDP port 514. To prevent this potential issue, you need to make sure that that port is open on your firewall. If you're just doing a quick test, you can disable the firewall to ensure it all works. To do this, with the utility open, click on the settings and go to the global tab. Now I've already configured this, so what you see on an initial startup may look a little bit different. You want to make sure that you have enabled the syslog server. If you go to the syslog tab, you can see the settings specific to the syslog feature within this utility. As it stands, logging messages will appear under your syslog server tab, but they won't be saved. You may want to collect these so you can review the syslog messages at a future time. To set this up, go to Settings, click on Save Messages checkbox, and then put in a path and file name to where you want the messages to be collected. I already have a directory on my system here, and it's off the C drive. I'll enter C colon syslog and syslog.txt and set that. To show the location, I'll navigate to my C drive and go down to syslog. Here, you can see the file. It's important that the file exists. This is not created for you. As you see here, the IP address of my system is 10.0.0.153. This will be important in the next few steps. Over here, I have logged into two devices. I have a switch open as well as a Cisco Business Wireless Access Point. So first, I'll go to the switch. In order to configure syslog, go into Administration, down to Remote Log Servers, select the server definition by IP address, and specify an IP address. As mentioned previously, 10.0.0.153 is the IP address in this demonstration. I'll select that and save that change. To show how this is done on the Cisco Business Wireless devices, I'll go into Advanced, go down to Logging, click on Add Server, and put in the same IP address of 10.0.0.153. Now that both of those are set, you may or may not see messages coming in. In this case, there are a few already. I'll make a change to the logging level to force more messages to come through. I'll set the level to debugging and save. Now you can see even more log messages. One way to tell where the messages are coming from is to look under the From tab. This is the IP address of the device that sent the message. So I know that my wireless is coming from 10.0.0.120 and that my switch is at 10.0.0.113. If I go down and look at my C drive, go to syslog and open this up, I can see the messages that have been written to this log file. There you have it a quick demonstration of how to configure and use the utility TFTPD as a syslog server. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.